hi there and welcome back to the channel today we're back with another quick win wednesday and we're going to talk about um cedars and factories so let's dive into it okay so we're going to start off with well actually the uh project that we've been using before uh in our quick win wednesdays um tutorials we have a user table we have a books table and now i've recently created the reviews table uh, which has a book id user id some stars and a review note so basically what we're going to do we're going to create um, some new factories um, which also uses faker inside and some new cedars so by default we have this user factory which uh, has a definition of creating a user with faker to create a fake name and a fake unique email address and so on in database cedar we have these things commented out for you by default um, it has two possibilities for you uh, one faker that create uh, one factory that creates a fake user with a given email and a given name or it has the factory that creates 10 random users based on the factory that uses this definition with faker so we're going to use this default thing but instead of using the database cedar default um, class we're going to create our own class so php artisan make uh, it's a cedar so it's going to call it user cedar there we go and now we have this here and actually we're going to copy this and we're going to use it in here so app models user factory and I'm, I want to have uh, 150 users so create 150 users using this factory this factory right here and that's it but when we're going to see the database I will call multiple seeders so I'm going to call it in the this this default file here so this call and I want to call the user seed oh, user seeder and it's a class there we go and I'm just going to save this as well now how do we migrate this um, personally I'm a fan of using PHP artisan migrate fresh please note I'm a fan of this in the development stages and local production uh, if you have a live thing don't ever use migrate fresh dash dash seed so it will actually delete all the tables uh, and rebuild all the migrations and then seed them afterwards there we go if you run this I'm just going to pull this up a bit here we go so it drops all the tables it runs them uh, creates a migration table it runs all the migrations and then it um, uses the database seeder a user seeder which has been called in the default database seeder and if we go to the database just going to uh, enlarge this a bit there we go and here we have 150 users okay that's that so I have 150 users the next step I want um, yeah some books so we're going to create a factory so PHP artisan make factory factory there we go book factory just like we have whoa what did I do wrong uh, make factory factory book factory uh, okay I'm just going to delete it and because I wrote factory with a, with a small f instead of a capital F it thought book factory was the name of the model so if I run it again with a capital F it gives it a proper name book factory and not book factory factory so we have the same definition file uh, definition function sorry definition function as before but instead of um, yeah having this pre-filled it's empty but we want to have uh, a title for our book uh, we want also um, I'm going to fill it afterwards but we also want a description a description and we also had well, just let me check once um, a target audience all right so and also a target audience there we go 
and I'm going to use faker for this. So I want to f have the title, um, the title will be a fake sentence. There we go. And this needs to be a comma, of course. And for the description, I want to have a long text. So a text. And if we remember properly, um, we're also going to use a faker for this. Uh, target audience was um, an ID which represented the target audience being um, little children, teenagers, um, and so on. And we're going to use a number between, let's say, one entry. There we go, one entry. All these faker commands, yeah, well, you can find them on the internet, of course. And, well, that's it for our factory, or actually our book factory. Next up, we're going to create a new cedar. So make cedar book cedar. And I think you can guess it already. We're going to do the same thing instead of calling the factory from the uh, user model. We're going to call the factory from the book model. And I want 300 books. There we go. And we're going to run the migrate fresh seed again. There we go. It deletes everything. It uh, rebuilds everything. And it ran the user seeder. And uh, of course, I need to add the book seeder to the default seeder file. There we go. And run it again. Boom. There we go. It created a, um, all the databases again freshly. And it had run the seeder for users and the seeder for books. So if I go to the database again, there we go, books. I have now 300 books. And if I open it, I have a title, a description, and a target audience, which has been given a random number between one and three. All right, so now comes the difficult part. I want a factory that yeah, creates reviews, but takes into account the relationship between the user and the book. And the review, of course. So, PHP Artisan make factory review factory. There we go. All right. Cool. So, first of all, we had the book ID, right? Book ID. Which basically is, again, a fake um, something. And this is, is where the magic will happen. But first of all, we're going to create everything else. User ID, same thing, fake, and we will fill it later. And then we have the stars. And the stars, well, this is actually something that we've done before with our target audience. So this is a number between, um, let's say, 0 and 5. Well, yeah, zero and five. And then we have a review, oh, review, sorry, review note, which will, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go for text. Now, there is something called a random element, which takes an array and plucks a random thing out of that array. So first of all, we're going to set a definition of users. And it's basically something that we have been using quite a lot in Laravel. It's just user pluck the ID. So it plucks the, all the IDs from our users. And the same thing for books. Book pluck the ID. There we go books sorry and oh i saved and that's why he is complaining uh random element from and it's for book id so we need to use books here and I'm just going to copy it the random element for user is user id uh, users to get a user id all right so that's it and then, of course, we still need to create our review seeder. 
yes review cedar which basically does the same thing as the books and the users but for review there we go and i and i i want to have 450 reviews yeah and i also need to add it to the um, database cedar file which calls the review cedar and if we now run migrate fresh again with dash dash seed whoops we run into an error and i have users user block uh okay i still need to add uh boom 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 where is the file of course use app models uh, user there we go and book run it again and this will take a little bit longer because it has to pluck everything and, and do all the relation thing stuffs but there we go two seconds nine millisecond 900 and so on milliseconds and if I go to the database again I now have 450 reviews which have a book ID a user ID uh, some stars and a review note okay so that's basically it um, I hope you learned something from that um, if you have any questions put them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe it, it helps a lot thank you um, see you in the next one bye bye